Hey peeps. Yes, it's finally that day. It's finally that day, guys. This video has been so highly requested. So many of you have asked me to do this deck list. So we are doing it today because I'm all fired up about Babylon and Lilith right now. Um, no, I've been doing so many goddess offerings for the demoness Lilith. So many of you have requested this deck list of recommended decks for connecting with Lilith. And I am really, really excited to get to talk about this. I can say that I've definitely been on a path with the dark feminine that's reached a new level of depth and nuance in 2023. And Lilith has really become a, a large part of that story for me. And so I'm very excited to do this deck list. I also am working on a workshop with the Ritual Tarot that's going to include three faces of the dark feminine. So be on the lookout for more information for that at the end of this week. But this list is going to be decks that I recommend for connecting with and working with Lilith. And I do, my last deck on this list is going to be my number one favorite deck for connecting with the energy of the demoness Lilith. This video is not going to be a dissertation on Lilith's myth and Lilith's storyline. I encourage you to do your own research, find the books, um, the websites that speak to you containing her myth. She is technically a demon. She is not a goddess when we look at historical... Um, representation and myth of Lilith. So it's up to you if you want to work with her as a demoness or as a goddess or an amalgamation of the two. I work with her as a form of deity and so I do unite the demoness myth with visualizing and connecting with her and walking with her as a form of deity. I don't feel she's any less divine or sacred than Isis. Um, she's unique unto herself. I also want to prepare you that Lilith Smith contains everything related to the profane, um, to the sacrilegious, to the disgusting. There's infanticide. There's, you know, she's a succubus. She's, she gets married to Samael. There, there's there, her, her myths and her history and her lineage is fascinating. And it's just rife with everything that Christianity mocks and condemns. So the beauty of working with her is that you are reclaiming the dark feminine for yourself when you engage with her energy. You are reclaiming an empowered state of being that's not reliant on anyone else telling you what to do. Uh, here, of course, I am referencing her most famous myth, which is that she would not lay underneath Adam for sex. She wanted to be on top, right? And for this, for this sin, she was cast out of the Garden of Eden and exiled to the desert, which became her home. She's also associated with the screech owl. And so if you work with owl energy and essence, you can connect with Lilith as well. Um, you will also find as you work with Lilith that you're going to encounter the myth of Inanna and Ishtar, and that's always fun as well. So that might take you down a little rabbit hole too, and you'll get to connect with some other goddesses that way. And I do feel that um, when you work with Lilith, there can be a bridge between Lilith and Hecate as well, oftentimes. Many of us who work with Lilith also work with Hecate and vice versa. So I think what I want to say before I get into the deck list is just really form your own relationship with her. Really form your own connection with her. Communicate with her individually don't just rely on her myth um, she will walk with you and i can say from personal experience she's going to ignite things in your life she's going to force you to look at where you are disempowered and to get real about claiming your own authority your own autonomy especially your own sexuality um, your own psychic ability and intuitive ability and she does require you to really start to trust yourself in a way that a lot of us, I think, question and doubt on our own paths. So grab a cup of tea. I'm going to grab a cup of tea because this is a long list, but there's a reason for it. Okay, hopefully you've, you have secured your tea or your drink, whatever you want to imbibe and enjoy as you connect with the, with the demoness Lilith, the goddess Lilith. I do want to say I am reading the Canticles of Lilith right now. I discussed that in my book video for the summer season, uh, and I am really enjoying this book. So if you are looking for a book recommendation from me, I would say check out the Canticles of Lilith as you connect with her. So this list is compiled mainly focused on experiencing empowerment uh, in regards to our autonomy, our sexuality, our intuitive side, the, the, fem the divine feminine, the dark feminine that exists within us. 
I often also find that we connect with Lilith, usually when we're moving through a tower moment or we're looking to embrace those parts of ourselves. And so these decks are darker themed and focused some of them on maybe more shadow work aspect because Lilith is a confronting goddess. She's in a confronting face of the dark feminine. And uh, within that confrontation aspect though, I do think her ultimate purpose is for us to be empowered, empowered fully in our physicality and in our right to take up space, to express ourselves, to have a voice and to protect ourselves. So this list is focused on those type of energies and uh, some of them hopefully will be helpful for you as you're building a relationship with her. Okay, I wanna start with the She-Wolf Tarot. This is a deck that has uh, nudity in it, FYI. This is a deck that's very uh, 70s in its feel and tonality, but that I do think really does speak to embracing sacred sexuality and that kind of occult mysticism that I think we can very much associate with Lilith. Uh, and her essence. So this is a great deck for opening up to understanding yourself, feeling empowered, and uh, I think for communication with her, it does have that lusty, kind of slightly dirty feel to it that makes it very enjoyable as you get to know Lilith as the demoness, as the goddess that she will be in your life for your relationship with her personally. So it's a really beautiful deck. It's a very magical deck. And I think it's a wonderful way to get to know Lilith and to start to understand how you're going to work with her. So that is the She-Wolf Tarot. Um, it's a, by Serpent Fire. I can never remember her name. Is it Devony Wolf? I believe, please don't quote me on that. But this is this is one that I included as kind of an honorable mention. I don't feel like it's completely synonymous with Lilith, but I do think that there's validity to connecting with Lilith through this deck. And if you like the artwork and you already have it in your collection, it's a nice way to, I don't know, like have a drink with Lilith, you know, chat with her, get to know her. Next on the list is Murder of Crows. This is just one of those, sh uh, just, just dark underworld decks for me that I flipping love. You guys know how much I love this deck. It's on like all of my top tarot decks of all time. I love the grittiness, excuse me, the grittiness, the earthiness, but also the air element. Of course, Lilith as a demoness, she is a winged being. I'm going to get into that in a moment, a little bit further. Um, and so I think while she's associated with owls, I think we could also consider crows and ravens as kind of a part of her, um, I don't know, maybe lineage for how they're typically thought of and how she is typically thought of. Uh, and I really enjoy the depths that this deck is able to go to. I think it's a very honest deck. It's a very straight, it's very much a straight shooter. And I find Lilith's essence to be very kick-ass and... Um, I don't, I don't experience her as mercurial in nature at all. I consider her to be very upfront, very truthful, and, and very much about helping you to get real about how to experience empowerment on your path, how to step into your magical mystery, you know, the, the, and that magical mystery that's unique unto you. It's not something that's like someone else's. Instead, it's about exploring that autonomy within the self, right? Also, Lilith is a demoness who understands loss. Her children were cursed to die. That's why she takes human children. So there's an understanding and awareness within her of the Three of Swords. And I think that this deck speaks very plainly and honestly to loss and, and how to be honest with yourself about that and to move through those times. So you're gonna walk through the shadow of the Valley of Death you want Lilith by your side as a ride or die, I promise you. And I think that deck really evokes that energy. Now, if we want to work with Lilith in regards to the witchcraft aspect, embodying our abilities, gifts, and capabilities as a high priestess, as a magician, this deck, the Quaria Magician's deck, I have a lot of stories about this deck, and someday I will do a full video 
breaking down my personal story with this deck. It's come back into my life thanks to a wonderful viewer. And I do find that this deck is indicative of Lilith's essence when it comes to the um, magician and occult aspect of her. So if you have this deck, this is again, Coria the Magician's deck. Uh, I think that this is one where you can really invoke the essence of Lilith and connect with Lilith through the storyline of the magician, through the elements and the entities, the realms that you are walking with that are referenced within this deck. I want to be very honest and upfront. And again, I'll, I'll break all this down in a further video with this deck. This is a very, very powerful deck. I don't use it daily. I don't use it lightly. I don't even really talk about this deck because it is so powerful. So I would just encourage you to approach this deck as you approach Lilith with respect and to work with it very, very intentionally, understanding that you may have times of detox with this deck where you need to take a step back, let the information germinate within you, let yourself clear and cleanse karmically before you work with this deck again. But this is a wonderful deck to connect with that magical um, essence of Lilith and also, <clears throat> excuse me, lots of talking guys, sorry. The occult and esoteric essence that I think Lilith is rife with. And I say that as the highest compliment. So that's Quoria, the magician's deck. The next deck was also a gift from the same viewer and I think really does hold the essence of Lilith beautifully and that's the Stunning Tarot. I believe this deck is currently out of print. Uh, this deck is a banger and I think it holds all of the red, the black, just juicy energy of Lilith. To me, Lilith is synonymous with the colors red and black. Um, and so the Stunning Tarot, the, this is the third edition that I have, again, was gifted to me by a viewer, but I think this deck really holds that gritty, sexy, connected, aware, authentic vibe that Lilith has. Lilith is really a demoness and an energy of authenticity to me. So if you're going to walk with her, you know, you can't hide things from her. You can't play small. You can't pretend. She's going to force you to wake up and to look at yourself. And that's not just shadow work. It's also very empowering. It's very exciting. It's very explorative. And I think the Stunning Tarot has that really yummy, just delicious vibe to it that lends itself well to Lilith's energy. So, so this is a great deck to work with for li connecting with Lilith. So next on this list is the Illuminated Earth Oracle. When I want to connect with Lilith, especially in regards to the exile she faced, uh, the, the, uh, the exile into the desert, you know, I think when we move through times ourselves where we feel abandoned, betrayed, misunderstood, made to be the scapegoat, Lilith can really come in in this very powerful way of understanding that sense of otherness, of separateness, of rejection that we can face. Um, I think especially for myself too, moving through the world in a different way than a lot of people do, oftentimes I feel very othered in that um, I don't have the same conversations most people do all the time. I'm thinking about things that most people think about you know, not on the daily, and that's literally my way of moving through the world. So I find that Lilith can very much be a sister in that space of feeling other, of feeling different, of feeling separate, and dealing with rejection, betrayal, and abandonment. And the Illuminated Earth Oracle really holds that essence of the desert, the earth, you know, the physicality of Lilith Smith. And so for me, it is a way of connecting with her you know, whereas I would say like murder of crows or she-wolf might be conversation, this is a way that I connect with her elementally through symbolism and through feeling. So the Illuminated Earth Oracle is a really, really beautiful one for, I think, connecting with that aspect of her. And also for feeling into our own lived experience. And when we feel that sense of otherness, of separateness, to me, Lilith is a demoness, a face of the sacred feminine, a face of the dark feminine that's welcoming to you, no matter how unique we are, no matter how disrespected or separate we might feel 
from the community in which we dwell or occupy space within. So this is the Illuminated Earth Oracle, and I think it's a really wonderful one to connect with her that way. Now, of course, I do associate dragon energy with Lilith, and I love the Star Dragons Oracle. So if you have this Oracle, this is a great one to connect with the sense of empowerment and mm, sister in the trenches that Lilith can offer us. So this again is the Star Dragons Oracle by Paolo Barbieri. The key words, um, the use of the fire element within this deck, it's so just joyful and I don't know, it's such a heart opener for me and I do think that Lilith contains that essence within her as well. This um, not only lusty, but there is a wisdom to Lilith and I think this deck holds that sister in the trenches you know, right in the work with you energy that Lilith can speak to for us, especially in those times when we feel lost and alone. So this is a really great deck to connect with that demoness winged being aspect of her. Uh, and um, dragon symbolism is so referenced within her myths. Again, check out Canticles of Lilith if you're interested in that. There's a lot of there's a, there's a lot to be found within this deck. It's more than meets the eye, which I would say is also true of Lilith. So this is the Star Dragon's Oracle. It's a great way to get that kind of experience with her. This is an exhaustive list, guys. That's why I said get something to drink. So I hope you have some tea or an adult beverage with you. Okay, next on the list is the Le Vampire Oracle. I think this is a great one for the shadow, underworld, dark essence of Lilith's myth. Um, there's a little bit of succubus energy we could reference within this deck as well, and I think it, it speaks well to that. There's also that uh, Christian myth as well that you can connect with a little bit here and there with this deck. And uh, I just love this deck in general, but I really love it for honesty, for shadow work, for getting real with ourselves, and for appreciating who we are, for, you know, loving the skin that we're in, as cliche as that sounds. But Lilith is very much present to help us with that. And so this is the Le Vampire Oracle. And it's a really great one to connect with, um, with Lilith's essence and energy. And the ecstasy, the ecstasy to reference this card here as well. The ecstasy of her essence. The juiciness, the sexuality that comes with embracing her, um, and the, the physicality, the enjoyment of the physical as well. So that deck speaks to that very beautifully. Next on the list is the Hayworth Tarot. I love this deck. It's a very personal deck. I did not unbox it on the channel. I don't have a review on the channel yet. I'm very, very connected to this deck. And I think it holds that separateness, the profaneness, the horror that Lilith carries within her. Um, I think this deck speaks to that really beautifully without needing to say a lot. This is a deck that you can connect with Lilith perhaps when you feel like you're on your knees and you need a message from her or you need a message to understand why you're on your knees, how you got there and how you start to shift that so it does not continue to be your life experience. How can you change? How can you grow? How can you shift? How can you expand? How can you evolve? This is a great deck for honest communication with Lilith in those regards. And so I do come to this deck as a friend in a way of connecting with Lilith when I really feel that sense of shame. Lilith's myth is so much about helping us to heal from the shame that many of us as women experience for simply being in a female body. So Lilith, Babylon, um, Inanna, any faces of the dark feminine can help us reclaim the sovereignty and the sacredness of our physical body and our experience of living as women. And that deck is a wonderful one to connect with her truth and honesty. Okay, next on the list, I'm sure you guys are not surprised by this. The Witch's Tarot, this is the full edition by Burning Paper Hearts. He actually has a card for Lilith in this deck. And I think, again, this is another deck that references 
her mystery and the mystery of the dark feminine, the, the, you know, what's happening behind the veil, that sensual, sexual, just deliciousness that you never quite can understand, but you're always almost there. And so it keeps pulling you in. That's this deck. This deck is beautiful for that. Uh, there is nudity in this deck. Um, it's, it's a great, great deck for connecting with that mystery. And with Lilith as that essence, let me see if I can find, pretty sure he has Lilith in here. I feel like Burning Paper Hearts put Lilith in here, but perhaps he didn't, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see, nope, there she is. I was like, I thought you, I, I do love this representation. So you can really call in and connect with Lilith through this deck. I think if you are looking to explore more of your witch self, through the lens of walking with Lilith, this is a great option. And again, like I said, the mystery, um, the occult, just delicious juiciness of real witchcraft, not wearing hats on the full moon, but actual real witchcraft. This is a lovely deck to connect with that around. Okay. I have three others, one honorable mention, and then my favorite deck for connecting with Lilith. Okay. The Ciccoli Tarot by Nicoletta Ciccoli. This is a great one for accessing the underworld and shadow themes that Lilith helps us to acknowledge and integrate within ourselves, especially if you are connecting with Lilith because you've dealt with sexual abuse. This is a potent deck to interact with and connect with Lilith around. Again, this is the Ciccoli Tarot by Nicoletta Ciccoli. This deck is an essential deck in my collection, but it's not a daily deck. It's not, I think it's again, one you must approach with reverence and, and you have to be in the right place to work with this deck. But once you do, and you move through the nightmare fairy tale dreamscape, that is the Ciccoli Tarot, you come to understand yourself your wounds, your strengths, your gifts, your story better. And Lilith speaks very powerfully and potently through the imagery in this deck. I would encourage you to work with this deck, not like a traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, but instead to approach it like an Oracle deck and actually focus on the artwork and what is happening within the imagery of this deck. This is a deck that I truly can't live without. It's very, very powerful, heady magic. And so you want to work with it at very, very specific times on your path. But I do feel like Lilith's essence is imbued in this deck for me. So I strongly recommend it for that. Okay, next deck on the list is the Bad Girl Oracle. This is a great one if you want to explore that naughty, irreverent, sexy aspect of Lilith. And you want to uncover that within yourself. You want to uncover that juiciness, that mystery, that lustiness within yourself. These cards are seen as various bad girl archetypes. And so there's, it's, it's very, very easy to connect with that playful aspect of Lilith's essence and um, allow yourself to embody that, to be, to be um, filled with the mystery of the dark feminine. So again, this is the bad girl oracle. It's very irreverent, it's very fun. Uh, but it is thought provoking. And while the little white book is a little white book, it does give you some space to do some shadow work and some jumping off points in looking at and exploring various parts of yourself that you put aside because, you know, it's not safe. It's not seen as being acceptable within your community or your family experience. So this is, again, the Bad Girl Oracle definitely recommend it for that and much in keeping with that energy is the next deck on this list and that is the pulp tarot by todd alcott i haven't talked about this deck in a little bit and i do need to rectify that because i've been feeling the call for of this deck recently um because i'm currently obsessed with the love witch and this just lines up with this um but this deck is a really beautiful way again to connect with the irreverence and sacred sexuality that is held within Lilith's essence. The ability to find the dark truth hidden within the pulp of this artwork 
Lilith is is right on she's like right on board and on point with that and very much here to help you uncover that through this artwork this is actually one of my favorite decks to connect with Lilith because it's so tongue-in-cheek and a little bit raunchy and very much that 50s vibe with you know again the dark underpinning of the truth inside of it and I think Lilith and her irreverence and empowerment just forces us to get real about that shit and you know wake up to the truth in 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 a really kick-ass way again she's not a heavy face of deity for me she's just real and still mysterious so this is the pulp tarot and I think it's a wonderful one look at this is like one of my favorite nine of pentacles ever can we just oh, so sexy but anyhow this is the pulp tarot highly recommended for connecting with Lilith now another deck that can help you access her symbolism and her power is the Telesma tarot this deck does contain nudity as well. It is a collage style deck. And again, the sexuality, the profane, the layers and layers that you have to sit with and allow your mind to absorb before you can understand the fullness of each card image within this deck is just spot on for Lilith's energy to me. I really, I really do like this deck. Uh, time has sweetened its feel for me. And I do think if you are uh, wanting to connect with Lilith, Lilith, excuse me, this can be one that gets you to that place uh, very beautifully. I prefer to think that's a gin and tonic there. Um, but this is the Teles Matero. Again, this is a wonderful way. To me, this would be like She-Wolf as in it gets you in the door. Do you know what I mean? Like if you're looking to build with Lilith and you're completely new to connecting with her, I think She-Wolf and Telesma and the Witch's Tarot are wonderful ways to start building that, to start discovering her sensuality, her mystery, and the, again, that juicy mm, aspect that's Lilith. Okay, let's see. Um, honorable mention, but I'm not going to pull it out and go through it because I just put this in a, a deck list recently is the Divine Circus. I do think you can access Lilith through the archetypes referenced here within the circus myth. And I do think you also can access through this deck her messages of empowerment and encouragement on your journey. So I think this is a nice like addendum in addition to like, for instance, say you could be working with the Witch's Tarot and use this to get an additional message from Lilith at the end, you know, almost like an affirmational pull for Lilith. So that's honorable mention on the list. Let's see, did I miss anybody? I don't think so. Uh, I almost put Magical Botanical on the list, but it didn't, it, it has some of Lilith's essence, but I think it's a little too generic to really help you zero in and connect with Lilith. I would say honorable mention from the same standpoint of Divine Circus that you could use it as a clarifier or an affirmation to cap off a reading as you're connecting with Lilith's essence. This is my number one deck for connecting with Lilith. Lilith. I said that name so many times in this video. Um, to me, it really comprises her essence. Again, her mystery, her sexuality, the symbolism, the esoteric feel that you never quite fully get to the bottom of Lilith. There's infinite depths to explore. The ritual tarot really holds that space well. And so for that reason, it's my favorite tarot deck to work with Lilith with. And it's the one that I personally turn to time and time again to connect with Lilith. The deck gives very pointed messages while also still being confounding enough to keep you coming back for more. Uh, the deck lets you go as deep as you want to go with Lilith or to keep things as surface as you may need to on any given day. Um, I think it is a beautiful, I, I, I am sure Tierra was, I'm sure Lilith came into Tierra's consideration with this deck. I don't know that for fact or not. Uh, but I feel like it's an homage in many ways. There is an homage to the dark feminine of which Lilith is a face of within the layers of symbolism and um, art that is referenced in the layers of this collage work within this deck. So this is a powerful, powerful deck. It's a beautiful one to connect with Lilith. And again, it's my favorite deck to use as I work with Lilith. It's my number one recommendation. 
if you were to ask me, if you could only work with one deck to connect with Lilith, I would say explore the Ritual Tarot if you have it in your collection or if it's accessible for you to um, purchase and create and, and make a part of your collection. This is a very special deck. It's a very special one to connect with Lilith around. And I think she loves this deck and I feel like she hangs out with this one a lot for me. So this is my number one recommendation to connect with Lilith and walk with Lilith when it comes to card work on your path. But I hope if you are exploring a connection with Lilith, you find it to be as expansive, as illuminating, as dark, as dirty, as sexy, as divine, and as exciting as I find walking with Lilith to be. Thanks for hanging out with me for so long, guys. I hope you are all doing well out there in the world. And I am sending you, as always, much love and many blessings. See you in the next video.